Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to write our first JUnit test case. So first, we'll create a method that to be tested. It is called method under test. So basically, first we'll create a class under test, and within that, we'll create a method under test. Next, we'll write a test method using at test annotation. So this is basically called unit test. Next, we'll use assertions to validate the method's output. So within a test method we will use assertions to validate the actual results with the expected results next we will run the test case and we will see the results ok so let us go and let us write the JUnit test step by step by using these steps so first step is create a method to be tested so go to the IntelliJ idea over here in previous lecture we have created a Marvin project and we have added JUnit Jupyter engine dependency next go to the project go to the base package right click on it new and then choose java class let's give class name as calculator hit enter so, so this calculator class is a regular class and it is called class under test because this class we want to test right next within this calculator class let's create a method public int let's give method name as add and let us pass the method arguments int a comma int b so this so this method basically is to addition up two numbers next here let us have a return statement and then a plus b all right so this is the simple add method it will add given two numbers and this method we want to test so this method is called method under test Okay, I hope the terminologies are clear to you. Next, let us see the next step. Next step is write a test method using add test annotation. So let's go back to our project again. Well, first we need to create a test class. Within that, we will create a test methods, right? So in order to create a test class in IntelliJ IDEA, so just click on the regular class and right click on it. And then here click on this show context actions and then here choose create test and here testing library let us keep jnit5 as it is class name let us keep the default one that is calculator test so IntelliJ idea will give a default test class name which looks you know good next here destination package so let's keep this one net.java gets so this package will basically you know will create under this test package okay next here you can see generate these annotations well at before at after annotations are like you know cycle annotations and as of now we don't want to use these annotations next here is a member section and within that you can see the method under test so if we tick mark this you know method then IntelliJ idea will automatically create a you know uh, JUnit template for this method so we'll create JUnit test case manually so let us don't tick mark this one and go ahead and click on ok perfect next if you go to test package under that Java and then net.java gets under that calculator test so this is the test class within a test class let us go ahead and let's create a test method here just type public wide let's give method name as add test all right so this is the regular method next let us make this method as a test method by using add test annotation so here let's annotate this method with add test annotation from org dot jnit dot jupyter dot api package well this add test annotation marks this method as a unit test case so that the test runners will execute this unit test and report the result so whenever you want to mark a method as a unit test case then you can go ahead and annotate that method with add test annotation all right great next within this test method let us create an object of the class under test so here calculator is a class under test so let us create a object of calculator class calculator calculator equal to 
new calculator. Next, let us have a calculator object. It has an add method and then pass 10, 20. So this add method returns the addition of 10 and 20, right? The result should be 30. So here int actual result. So the actual result is 30. Next, in order to verify the output of this method under test, we have to use assertions, right? So assertions are the statements that we use to check the actual result with the expected result. So here let us use one of the assert statement that is assert equals to check the expected result with the actual result. So if you can notice here there are overloaded assert equals methods. We need to choose the appropriate one. So in our case we need to choose the assert equals method that takes you know integer parameters. Okay so go ahead and choose this one. It takes integer parameters like int expected int actual and then pass the expected you know result that is 30 and the actual result that is actual result variable all right notice here this assert equals is a static method and this method checks the expected result with the actual result if the expected result is not matches with the actual result then this test will fail if the expected result matches with the actual result then this test should pass next let us take a look on the next step next step is run the test and check the results let's go back to our project in order to run this j in a test case we can go ahead and use this icon over here okay if you want to run the complete test class you can go ahead and use this icon so in our case we are going to execute this particular J unit. So for that, let's go ahead and let's click on this icon and say run add test. All right, and just scroll up, and here you can see test passed. All right, so this is how we write the unit test case to test the method. So in our case, add is the method, and we have written another piece of code to unit test this add method. All right. So unit test is nothing but a piece of code that tests another piece of code. Next, let us also see the negative scenario. So here the test is successfully passed because the expected result is matching with actual result. Next, let us say we, want, we are expecting 31, but the actual result is 30. In this case, the test should fail. For example, if I run this, test case here you can see the test failed and if you can see the error message expected 31 but it was 30 so this is how we write the unit test to test the logic of method under test all right great i will see you in the next lecture